Hey, what's up guys? I remember when I was first brand new to high level that the, one of the cool things that I knew was possible was how could I say thank you first name on the on the thank you page? So here's the opt-in, right? You're gonna hit submit. And then the thank you is gonna um, say thank you, James, right? So I wanna take whatever value goes here and I wanna say thank you, James. Let me show you how this works. <clears throat> so first of all, let's just do a no different test. Let's say Amanda, okay? Amanda, uh-huh, and hit submit and thank you amanda okay so that's a live thing no matter what puts in there let me show you how this works they're called merge fields so basically on the thank you page you're going to click in here and hit edit and you use the merge field called contact first name okay well that's great um are there any other things you can use yes you just search for merge fields merge fields high level you can see all the different um, merge fields you can choose from. Okay, they're right here, custom values, merge fields. There they are, okay? Now, what you may or may not have known and what some people were asking was, can you actually pass in other things on the fly, like live, like UTM parameters, for example, your industry is, okay? Check this out, you can, so what you do is you go up in here to the URL and you add a question mark to signify parameters now. So industry equals education, okay? So if I now hit that URL, your industry is education. Now that gets populated as well. Well, how did I do that? It's very, very similar. It's just your industry is industry. Okay, so that is how you use uh, merge fields in funnels. Think about it. In order for this to work, it has to have the context of the previous page, right? So uh, the, the previous opt-in page where they put this information in. If I go to this page here without that context, right? If it doesn't know anything about me, well, then it doesn't have anything to show. Okay, so it has to have the context of the previous page to be able to, to display that. Hope that helps, we'll see you in the next video, thanks.